Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for watching. My name is Lindsay Preservati. So today I did a get ready with me. Um, I haven't done one in a really long time and I also wanted to catch up and update you guys on how my first week of dental hygiene school went. So we talk about that a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to go in and prime my face. Um, I'm using the Milk Primer. Um, this is the Hydro Grip Primer and I am obsessed with it. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with my pore minimizer, my Smashbox one, and go in on my problem areas. I survived my first week of dental hygiene school, and honestly, it was not that bad. It's definitely gonna be hard, I know that, um, but I think once I kind of get settled in and um, get used to it and just kind of like get in a little groove, I think I'll be okay. We went into the clinic for the first time and it was honestly, it was so much fun. Like I didn't think it was gonna be that fun. I met some really amazing girls. Um, I met some other moms, which was like amazing because I was just kind of nervous. So now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm using the Marc Jacobs, um, sorry, it's a mess, Remarkable Foundation. I love this foundation. It's my new favorite, full coverage. Um, I'm obsessed with it. Don't mind the color. This color is a little bit dark for me. Um, it's a little bit orangey, but I promise I'm gonna fix it. Um, it will not look terrible when I'm done because I've done this before. I didn't think that I would like doing the online classes because I'm more of like a hands-on, like I need to be in the classroom. Um, but honestly, doing the online classes is not that bad. I didn't think it would be the right thing for me. I didn't think that I would be able to learn, um, but it's been fine. So that is all blended. And then I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild, um, the Photo Focus. But when I put this on over it, it looks fine. So just bear with me, I promise. My schedule for school, I love it. Um, today's Friday. I have Fridays off. Um, so that's like a good day for me to be able to study and just like do laundry and whatnot. Um, my foundation's on. I'm going to go in and use my concealer. I'm using the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer and this is in cloud. I think this is the lightest color that they have. I always get the lightest color um, so I can do under my eyes with it and I just like a really light um, concealer. So we're just going to blend this out. And again, like with school, I still am like, my plan is the same. Like I'm still going to do this and, you know, try my best. Um, I think I'll be able to handle it. But again, like if it's not working out and if I can't keep up or I can't keep my grades up, um, then obviously I'm just going to reevaluate and like, you know, figure out what's best. But um, I'm just gonna go in and set my makeup. This is the Maybelline, sorry, everything is so messy. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. And I think this is in the shade Fair. It's the lightest color again for under my eyes. I'm using the LA Pro Concealer. I don't love this. Um, it is very difficult to blend. I've tried using a brush, which I don't like using on with like a liquid concealer. Um, I tried using like a different beauty blender. Um, I think it's just the formula. It's just weird. So my skin has been breaking out so badly because I've been having obviously to wear a mask more um, because when we go into the clinic, we have to wear a mask. And like all here, like all here, a little bit on my neck. I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer. It's a powder. Um, this is in the color Tantric. And I love this bronzer. It is so nice. Um, it smells like coconuts and I just love it. It's nice and matte. I don't like like a shimmery bronzer or anything. So this is beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is go in with my Ramel Stay Matte um, powder and this is in Sandstorm. So this is not the lightest shade, um, but I just like to use it to kind of like get rid of any like lines. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our blush and this is the Wet n Wild um, blush and this is in Nudist Society. I love this color. It's like one of my favorite colors by them. Um, it's like a peachy color and it has like a little tiny bit of shimmer 
and I just love it. So I'm using, I never use this brush, but recently I started to use it for blush and I love it. So I'm gonna go in with a whole bunch of blush there. And then again, I'm just gonna go and blend that a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows now and I'm using my um, brow soap and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of my setting spray here. Sorry, I have to like have my light right here. Um, the brow soap, I feel like I can live without it. It's nice, but since I don't have like a lot of eyebrow to tame, I can live without this, but I'm just using it because I have it. So first I'm going to go in with my um, e.l.f. the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, and this is in taupe. Um, I'm going to use that first to kind of like outline them a little bit. This eyebrow is like the problem child. I hate this eyebrow. It's always so difficult to do. Um, I think everyone has like a good and a bad eyebrow and I'm also right-handed. So doing this eyebrow is just like, it never comes out good. It never comes out as good as the other one. And it's super annoying. So after I do that, then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia brow pomade. Um, this is also in taupe. Um, and this is just a little bit darker. I use it to, as you'll see, kind of just fill them in a little bit if I have any like really bare spots like that one that I um, shaved off on accident I'll fill it in there um, let's see after I put the brow pomade on then I go in with my elf um, this is a gel and a powder I just use the powder um, I just like to kind of like set my eyebrows with a powder it just makes me feel better so I just go in this is like a very light shade. Um, I just use, it's that one right there. So this, I don't know, I just feel like it makes them look better. Okay, so eyebrows are done. I'm gonna go in and prime my eyelids with, um, this is the Thank Me Later Elizabeth Mott um, eyelid primer. And I've talked about this before. I got this in my boxy charm. I can live without an eyelid primer because um, usually I'll just use like concealer just to prime them um, and my eyeshadow doesn't move a lot or like crease all day anyways. I don't think I have very oily eyelids so I'm surprised because everything else on me is terrible. Okay and then for like my base I'm going to go in with the Essentials palette and use this color right here, the lightest color there. It's called Cream. Um, it's just like a little bit of a shimmery like neutral base. Um, I don't know. I just like to have a nice base for my eyeshadow so I kind of just put it on the inner part I don't put it everywhere I feel like I always do my eyes like so basic so I'm gonna use the essentials palette 2 and I'm using this color right there that is called clay it's um I don't know it's pretty I have um, hooded eyelids I've talked about them before um, so you don't really see any of my eyelid when I have my eye open. So that is why I just usually don't do anything crazy with my eyelids because most of it you're not even gonna see. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in on like the corner here and just do a little bit darker. So I'm using the Too Faced chocolate bar and that color there is milk chocolate. And I love this little brush. Um, I got it in my BoxyCharm and it is the, um, I think it's a mini tapered blending brush, but since I have such small eyes, I love this brush for doing the crease there because it's so small. Whenever I try to do something different, it just looks like crap. Okay, so I'm gonna go in under my eyes. This is also the Too Faced chocolate bar, and I'm gonna use this color right here. It's called um, Salted Caramel. It is my favorite color out of this whole palette. Um, it's kind of like a orangey, not orangey, but like a nice, like slightly pink nude. Um, it's so pretty under my eyes because I like to like brighten them up a little. Um, I just am obsessed with this color. So this next product is my new favorite um, eye product of all time. Um, it's the e.l.f. I think it's just like a shimmery, liquid shimmery um, eyeshadow. It is beautiful. I got it in the color um, Birdie, Flirty Birdie, and it's just like a copper, very sparkly eyeshadow. I'm obsessed with it. I've been wearing it every single day over every single eyeshadow. Um, so I just put 
a little bit on. I'm just gonna blend it with my finger. And I found it at um, Ulta. It was actually on clearance. So it was $2.50. And I was like, whatever, I'll just try it. And I love it. Okay, so next we are going to do my mascara. Um, I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick. So the first mascara I put on is the um, Essence Lash Princess. And um, I just like to use this to give them like prime them a little bit. So I just use that. And the next mascara, um, I got this, it's like a little sample, but it's the Milk um, Kush Mascara. And I actually love it. Like at first I didn't like it um, because the brush is just like humongous. Um, but I actually really like this mascara. So I think when I run out of this, I'll get a full size one because it's just really pretty. Um, and it does a great job of like giving them length and volume. Then on my bottom lashes, I use the Lash Princess because um, I just like the brush. It's kind of smaller and it's just easier to get it on those really tiny lashes. So I use that on the bottom because it's just a little bit easier. All right, so now I'm going to go in and do my lips. Um, I'm just going to put some concealer on them because that's just what I do. So the lip liner I'm using today is KKW there and this is the um, Nude Zero and I love this lip liner it goes on so well um it's like the perfect nude the only thing is like i sharpened it and now it like it's loose but whatever so i just go under my lip a little because i have very small lips i won't put um lip color on today i just am obsessed with this color i'm using my hula bronzer and i'm just going around my lips and kind of just make them look a little bit bigger um kind of just like shadowing them and also because that lip liner is almost the same color as my face, I just like to define it. Um, I don't know if you can, oh yeah, so you can see I am breaking out, like I said earlier, so bad, like right there. Um, I have a whole bunch of little pimples right there. It's super annoying. Um, down here I have some um, and it's from wearing a mask more often. So it's just like super annoying, but thank God for makeup because it's covering all of this up. Okay, so for my highlighter today, I'm using my favorite, the Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow, and this is in Blossom Glow. Um, this is like my all-time favorite highlighter. I've tried a whole bunch of other ones, high-end, low-end, um, and I just always go back to this. Like, it is so pretty. I've gone through like 10 of them, um, and it stays all day, and I just love it. For my setting powder, um, this is the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow Powder, and this is in Soft Luminance. It is just my absolute favorite setting powder. It is beautiful, um, and I like it for the summer because it just has the tiniest bit of shimmer. And like, I have huge pores, and I do not like shimmer usually, um, but this doesn't make your skin look any more textured at all. Okay, so the last step um, of my makeup, I use a setting spray. This is the Morphe um, Mini Continuous Setting Spray. All right, so I'm gonna go do my hair now and I will catch up with you guys in a few minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments below and remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it and I will talk to everyone later.